In the 1700s, Scott-Irish immigrants found themselves a place that reminded them of their beloved home. The Greenbrier community was born. Over 800 people once lived in the area of the National Park now accessible by the Greenbrier entrance. There were houses, churches, stores, and even a hotel. Widespread logging eventually decimated the huge trees and rivers of this area. Eventually, the process of buying private lands to form the park began, and the families of the area were once again displaced. Despite it all, the families and forests persevered. Visiting Greenbrier today, it's not difficult to see what drew those first families to settle here. Hey guys, Smoky Mountain family here. We're here at the Greenbrier entrance of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. This is one of the only sections of the park that's accessible to individuals right now due to all the snow and the trees being down. We thought we'd come down here and check it out and take you with us. Let's go. Come to the bridge that takes you to Ramsey's Prong, We're right across the Grape Yard Ridge Trailhead. And this is where it looks to be a couple different tributaries meet to meet this prong of the river. This is probably one of my favorite places in the entire National Park. The way these rivers meet and the sounds, it's amazing down here. If you've not been to Greenbrier, this in and of itself is worth it. There's also Ramsey's Cascade Trail down this way. It's eight miles out and back. Arguably the most beautiful waterfall in the park as well.
old settler's trail. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but there is just this fog in the air that sets the stage uh, for the snow. It's hanging pretty low. You can hardly see any of the mountains um, in any vista that you have that's available right now, but it does definitely set the stage here. Just bridge after bridge after bridge. This is one of the most underrated areas of the park. I swear it is. Whereas a lot of the other footage has showed, you know, trampled on snow and, you know, been where people have been, like no one's been back here. So it's just completely untouched. Other than the tire tracks, obviously. It's guarded by this canopy of trees with the snow on them. The sun's not getting to it. A lot of the other snow's melting right now, but not here. Then you finally get to this area out here at the end of this, this part of the road anyway, and it takes you directly to the trailhead of Ramsey's Cascade Trail. Standing here in the parking lot of the Ramsey's Cascade Trailhead, and this is particularly true if you actually hike the Ramsey's Cascade, you are standing in one of the biggest pieces of undisturbed wilderness east of the Mississippi River. Once you reach Ramsey's Cascade, you are about two miles approximately if you continue to hike in that direction to the Appalachian Trail. Now, other than the Appalachian Trail, you're up here about Mount Guyot, Tricorner Knob, and all those places. Other than the Appalachian Trail, there's not even a trail through that part of the park. So if you want to get lost <laughs> and get away from everything, this is the place to be. But even standing right here right now, you can hear the river in behind us. I'm going to try to get away from that a little bit just so you can maybe hear the wilderness. It is so peaceful. And this whole area of the park, the Greenbrier area, is so peaceful. All right, let's go see what's next at Greenbrier. Now this area was heavily logged uh, before the formation of the park. So there's a lot of second growth forest here. You're not gonna see a lot of huge trees on the driving trail. Now that's not true for Ramsey's Cascade because of how steep it is back there and how remote it was, it was difficult for the logging companies to get back in there and cut down those trees and, and move them out of, the, out of this area. However, there are some big boulders along this creek and we're gonna see some right now. All the bridges are beautiful places to stop and take a picture. The fog's settling in, it's almost dusk right now, so it's looking really pretty. Okay guys, I think we're gonna end it right here. We're at Greenbrier Picnic Area. This is one of our, the picnic area specifically, is one of our favorite places to come and cook out and uh, come and just wait in the river. It is very close to our house, like living in the arts and crafts community. 
if you have a chance, come out here and check out this Greenbrier section of the park. It's one of the only sections of the park that's open right now. Uh, of course, that'll change in the coming days, but it's beautiful, it's isolated, it's quiet, it's peaceful, it's serene. It's a great place to kind of get away from the crowds and, and uh, come out here and have a have an experience in the park. Also, with Ramsey's Cascade, Old Settlers Trail, Porter's Creek Trail, there's a lot of places to come out here and discover. So as always, thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you next time.